the rich tradition. My name is Elizabeth Luard, and here we are in Tarifa, where I lived for many years with my young family. Because we shared the lives of the community, we also enjoyed their feasts and festivals and harvests. Today is the version of the Sierra's special day. This is a festival of renewal, with its roots in the pagan midsummer revels dedicated to the goddess Diana. The Mother of God is courted with flowers and greeted with adoration as she leaves her mountain sanctuary. The pilgrimages have not vanished, as has so much else under the pressure of modern life, but have swollen in recent years with the influx of tourists, curious to find out where everyone's going. This procession lasts five hours, and unlike so many which now follow the metalled road, it traces the path of the underground river through the olive groves. All over the Mediterranean at this time of year, people are gathering on hillsides to take their special virgin down to the city or the town or the village, where they have a party for her. The reason she's up here in the first place is about 4,000 years old, not 2,000 years. So we have a very, very old ceremony indeed. She's welcomed by young people all the time. They walk down with her, they stop, they compliment her. They see her really as a betrothed, not as a mother. So she's sung to. She has her special things called coplas, which are rhyming songs. And people will clap and they will stop. And every now and again they'll stop and they will sing some more songs to her. And sometimes they'll dance. And it depends really where they are on the trip. Really what they're doing is bringing their favorite lady down for her party in the village. the party really gets going. Feria food must be of the best. The freshest ingredients, the highest quality. This is my own favorite, pinchitos, Moorish kebabs, spiced with cumin and turmeric. And the cook is always done up as a moor, the Moors were here for a long time. Here's something everyone loves and can afford. Crisps fried to perfection in olive oil. The cooks of Andalusia are acknowledged the best fries in all Spain. The New World potato went straight into Spain's frying pan. You can tell how people really like to cook by what they do with their potatoes. This is the big luxury, grilled octopus. It takes a long time to prepare. The tentacles have to be skinned, cleaned, and then beaten to tenderize them. No fine bone china or fancy sauces. Just a scrap of foil and a piece of lemon. It's the best. It's never so good anywhere else.
worldwide villages have played host to many influential visitors. Phoenicians, Greeks, Carthaginians, Visigoths, Romans. The Moors took over Christian Spain for seven centuries. By the time they left, the cultured, civilized Muslims had left an indelible print on the life of the land they called Al-Andalus, the gateway to paradise. We're at the very tip of Europe. Jebel Musa over there, and Jebel Tariq, Gibraltar, the twin pillars of Hercules. It was across these straits the Moors finally went back to the deserts of Africa to dream of the fertile land they had left behind. In the very same year that the Moors left, 1492, Christopher Columbus set sail across these same waters in search of a new route to the spices of the Indies. He came back with something even more valuable, new world vegetables, potatoes, beans, maize, tomatoes, marrows, pumpkin, and peppers. Water not only to make the land fertile, but to make the wheat into good bread. No mains electricity here, only the power of the mill race and human hands. Father to son, mother to daughter, this is a family enterprise. Making bread is a serious undertaking, and like all really serious undertakings, it's woman's work. Hard labor needing good muscles, bread made in the old way, using sourdough from the baking before to raise the new batch. This leavening might go back a thousand years in an unbroken chain. The bread of Andalusia was reckoned the best in the Roman Empire. Wholesome, strong, and proper food for a working family. With the leftovers to be soaked and made into a gazpacho, a bread porridge. Extra loaves are exchanged for cash. I bought four. And there's an extra pig or two to augment the cash crop. Pigs are a sign of a settled peasantry. I did a painting. It's more portable than a polka. These are the lean red pigs of the old Iberian breed who are allowed to range half wild to glean in the woods. When a sow gives birth in the forest, the little piglets are put in a donkey basket and brought home. You can't drive a pig if he doesn't want to go. It's an extremely willful animal. After the autumn slaughter, the hams are sent up to the mountains to be wind dried in the cold air. Those who husband their own raw materials know they can eat better than a king. The seductive Sevillana is the dance in which all women come into their own. All form the square and call the number of the sequence, the moment dictated by the music and the sharp rhythmic handcaps of the spectators. This year it's sunburst sleeves. Maybe last year's fashion was sprigged with flowers instead of the classic polka dots. Today, everyone has sat in ribbons. Next year's trimming may be lace.
great dancers are known and called out, admired for the seductive grace of their arms, the passion of their movements. Time to remember old loves. And look for new. Time to dream of the future and of the past. The bells of the ball are not the slender young girls, but the plumpest of matrons, the most spinsterly of arts. Grannies and toddlers. <laughs> Ladies' treats. Honey and almond cakes and sweet things to celebrate the Virgin's feast day. Some of us are good, some may be bad, and let's face it, some are downright piggy. Hey, Time to replenish stocks. Ask for a glass of wine in an Andaluth bar at Feria or any other time, and you'll be poured a chilled glass of dry sherry, the aromatic golden wine produced in these parts, whose flavor and bouquet is like no other. Tortillitas de champiñones, huevos del Guzmán, eh, huevos a la pujarreña, tenemos también eh, montaditos de lomo Roquetas, con roquefort, tortilla. tenemos eh, jureles, acedillas, calamares, chipirones. Andalucía's culinary traditions are oral, and Juan virtually sings the tapa menu. Muy buenos, en fin. Entonces, sí. Buenísimo, ¿eh? Está muy bueno, sí. I've chosen the best, of course. Ham and chorizo from the little Iberian pigs. Inge. Sí. Esta piedra, sí. It's Sunday and I've been invited to a party, a picnic in the hills. Good fortune comes with a stranger at the feast. You never know who it might be. Because it's feria, Juan and Miguel are going to cook a special paella, the only dish the Andaluth male prides himself on being able to prepare. It's the only possible food for such an outing. We expect an army. Tarifa is now a windserver's paradise, and everyone has friends who has more friends. Squid and swordfish, and farmed langoustin. We're being spoiled today. And my pan macho from the bakery. That's masculine bread, bread with nothing taken away. A paella should never be cooked indoors or served after sundown, and there are those who say it should never be cooked by a woman. So that leaves one half of us on washing up. No sé de mirar, a ver, la gente no me ha enseñado de una especie. Sí. Luego ya saco yo mi propia técnica. Siempre te ha gustado hacer la cocina. Sí mucho. Sí. ¿Y tu padre lo hizo con paella? No. No, tu madre. Mi madre hace arroz. When I lived up here with my family, we always followed local custom and went up into the hills on a Sunday where we lit a fire and cooked a meal, a weekly taste of the full-scale rural pilgrimage. Grating the tomatoes, I've never seen that before. It's a good trick. We're making a tortilla with eggs and potatoes and chorizo to eat while the paella cooks.
Proper skin, not a plastic one. No, not like this. Is it? Some people cut the potato into slices, others into chunks, others like a chip shape. But the absolute rule is that the potato must be fried absolutely soft before you add it to the beaten eggs and chopped chorizo. You need one egg per medium-sized potato. Cuando se toca preparada ya la tortilla, la patata frita y tal, se mezcla con el huevo. Sí, se une y se lo... Sí, eso sí. ¿Cómo se da la vuelta a una buena tortilla española? Eso, eso. You cut the langoustine firmly through the head, which kills it instantly. The langoustines are the star of the paella. You don't usually get them. Miguel went down to the fish farm this morning, and everyone is looking forward to them. Sí. When my own children were small, they used to find freshwater crayfish in the stream. If we were lucky, or we might find snails. Wild gathering is part of the fun of a paella. It's a very movable feast. There's chorizo and potatoes and pepper and garlic and the potatoes are perfectly soft and cooked in olive oil. And there you go. Uli. Mama. Hi, Mama. Now we're going to take it over to the fire and cook it. The skill is to match the volume to the size of the pan. The tortilla has to be thick to be juicy. Miguel comes from Granada, so he's laying out the cheese and chorizo, Granada style, on a slate tile for while we're waiting for the food to cook. Juan isn't convinced he mightn't have done a better job. Everything goes in raw and all the juices are absorbed by the rice. In this kind of cookery, you don't throw anything away which will add flavor. A paella is the culinary equivalent of an archaeological dig. It's cooked in a Roman-designed iron twin-handled pan using olive oil from Roman-planted trees, Phoenician saffron, the rice of the Moors, a bit of pork from the Catholic kings, Mediterranean and Atlantic fish, New World vegetables. Now it's going to change colour. It's very hot over here. Saffron, the stamens of a crocus, a beautiful colour. Its perfume is supposed to make you sleepy. In goes the rice, one glass for each person. Two glasses of water for each glass of rice. It's amazing how a wine tumbler comes in handy. <laughs> Cuál es? 
The longu steam will cook in the steam. Topped out with a sprig of lentiscal, much better than parsley. Mira, después de todo, no queda un... Va a salir lo bueno el arroz, tío, va a salir bueno. Es que sabe, la niña dice Juan que le pongo un par de lagartos de eso. Está muy bueno todo esto. Ya que pasa con vosotros. Yo no quiero marisco. ¿Te lo he visto tú? Se ha incorporado. Está el vídeo. Eso es bueno, ¿eh? ¿Cuándo? Estos platos vienen del disco. ¡Salud para el cocinero! ¡Venga, para la derecha! The Virgin is all things to all people. Even when you're old, you can have a mother to care for you. She will comfort you in sickness. And when you're little, like this young man helping me with my sketch, you can identify with the tiny baby she holds so tenderly in her arms. Así o no? O aquí? ¿Cuál? Sí? Así, entonces. Mejor así? Sí? After Mass has been celebrated, the Virgin, all washed and changed and dressed in her best and richest robes, freshly flowered and ablaze with candles, is taken out and paraded into the town so that she can enjoy the admiration of her people and bless their houses. If you have two children, and you only have enough money to dress one in the full rig, with earrings and high heels. Then you take it in turns. See? Ya está. Y aquí ponemos es la Virgen de la Luz, no? See? The Virgin's Festival is above all the festival of the women whether they're grandmothers, mothers, or young girls.